This is Twit. We've all known someone who's dropped or shattered their phone screen, and my someone happens to be a coworker named Shannon Morse. She was ever so lucky to have dropped her Nexus 5 from a very short distance, cracking her screen. Well, seeing that I'm just an all-around awesome guy, I offered to fix it. For the knowledge. I'll go through the steps on how to fix and replace a screen on the Nexus 5, but the procedure is very similar to any other mobile device with a cracked screen. So first, you're going to need the parts. I purchased the screen front replacement from Amazon for about $100. Unfortunately, you can't just replace the glass from the digitizer, as the glass and digitizer are fused together in an unholy bond, frustrating any do-it-yourselfer. If you got some tweezers, a guitar pick, and some time, you're in luck. Those and a heat gun are the tools you need for this job. Fortunately for me, I have some iFixit tools to help me along with this project. Step one is going to be powering off the device. We don't want it to be on when we're removing all these parts and everything. Next, remove the SIM card tray. Opening the back is simple enough if you have a guitar pick or, for me, a plastic spudger. And just start at the bottom of the case and work your way along the edge, popping the little rivets along as you go. Step two, with a Phillips screwdriver, uh, there will be six screws holding on the back plate at the top of the phone. Uh, once you have those removed, gently pry off the plate and set it aside. Then at the bottom of the phone, there are four more screws that you need to remove. And then you can remove that plate at the bottom. Along the side of the phone is a long connector uh, and gently release that from the board of the phone and also the tiny connector uh, that goes to the battery. On the left and the right of where the battery is are the 4G and 3G antennas. Be sure to unplug both of those from the board as well. Next, you can gently pry, use a plastic tool to pry the battery up. At the bottom of the phone, release the connector that is connected to the bottom board. And then gently pry with a plastic tool because this bottom board is going to be glued to the bottom of the case. And if you break this, you're going to be in trouble. So just take your time and slowly lift it up. Next, it's time to release the connectors for both the front and rear facing cameras. Again, be careful while you lift these up because they are de delicate. Now that you have the connectors uh, disconnected, you can pry the board up from the chassis of the, of the phone. With the board out of the way, you can remove from right to left uh, a black tape gasket, the front cam, the headphone jack, the ear speaker, and a rubber gasket, and the rear camera. Down at the bottom of the phone, peel back the board just a little bit so then you can slot it through uh, once we, we're ready to remove the screen. Now that we've removed most of the components from the chassis, we can go ahead and get our heat gun out. And since the screen is pretty badly cracked at the bottom of the phone, I'm going to apply some gaffer's tape to try and hold it together. Carefully go over the phone with a heat gun. You want to get it warm enough to heat up the adhesive and then you can gently push from behind to see if it'll come apart. Now with the majority of the screen removed, I'll heat up the last bits of glass at the bottom of the frame to remove them. And once the frame is cleaned of any more glass, I can insert the new one. Now it's time to add a bit of glue to the screen edges. As I was in a hurry to finish this project for Shannon since she was going to DEF CON and needed the phone for that, I used super glue. There is glue out there that you can get that will come apart when heated, but I didn't have the time. So let's just hope Shannon doesn't break the phone again. Slide the connector through the chassis and place the screen into the frame, making sure to apply pressure to the edges for a good seal. Now it's time to work in reverse. Put the cameras back in place, along with the head jack and the microphone. Reconnect the tabs as you go along with the antennas and make sure to screw the plates in before putting the back protector back on. Turn on the phone and make sure that everything is plugged in properly. Clean the screen and you're good to go. All in all, this project took me about three hours. If I were to do it again, I could probably do it in about a quarter of that time. Now that's all left to do is return the phone to Shannon and we're good to go.